Hi everyone, this is PK and I'm back for the first time in months to show you some updates with my SPI or SPI video card that I named VGA Tonic. As you remember, that little green board on the right is VGA Tonic. It's connected by SPI to a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. I know there was some doubt when I first announced this project whether I could do it in the artificial constraints of a CPLD, but I'm happy to announce today very usable results in under 144 macrocells. But don't take my word for it, I'll prove it. First, note that the only thing plugged into the Raspberry Pi is a wireless USB keyboard and six wires going to my board, which would be the SPI plus uh, power and ground. So now I'm gonna give power to VGA Tonic. There you go, uninitialized video memory. We're in business. But that's enough of that. The main reason I'm updating today isn't to prove that I'm not starting fires with this project. It's the fact that I wrote a frame buffer driver for the Raspberry Pi 2. Let's load it now. So the colors that you see right there are the frame buffer initializing. So this is the moment that you've all been waiting for, starting the X server. So for a few seconds there, it looked like it, uh, had some issues with uh, the connection, but it came back as you can see. And now you can see beautiful 1990s era 8-bit color on the screen in 640 by 480 resolution. Uh, it's running at about 22 frames per second right now, but uh, for me to prove to you this is a usable frame rate, let me run Doom on it. Unfortunately, I don't have any sound, but uh, you all remember what Doom sounds like, I'm sure. Anyway, it's enough of that. I'm playing from behind a microphone right now, so it's too hard. That's my project. I'm declaring my project done, or at least the version that I started in 2014. Uh, and yes, this is probably the Hello World version of an even larger project. Um, I'd like to bring support for this uh, VGA Tonic video card to a couple more single board computers and uh, add some features to it as well. But I'll do that in a new contest entry for the Hackaday Prize 2015. Uh, anyway. Uh, more to come. Uh, I have enough information for you to build what I have today and run it at 22 frames per second uh, or even faster on your Raspberry Pi. Um, but follow the links in the description and watch the project page for more. Uh, thanks for watching.